This guy is always fucking running his stupid mouth on the internet, okay, saying, Oh, uh, you know, if you're doing pickup artist things, you have problems and, uh, and uh, this and that. And he just sits like at this like arm, armchair psychology like, oh, I want to tell you guys today. And just sitting in his fucking dumb chair. Okay, everyone, it's so annoying. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. I want to make a video on Jordan Peterson. Okay, everyone's like, oh, Jordan Peterson, Jordan Peterson, the Canadian YouTuber, okay, that had the, this meteoric rise to fame and has like some choice things to say about the pickup artist community, how they're all psychopaths and, and this and that, okay? Let's take a look behind the covers of this fucking man's personal life, okay? Before we continue, please subscribe below if you have not already. New videos every single day. Press the notification bell for, to be alerted to those new videos. And also, uh, a free 30-minute call is available to jump on a free call with me personally and I can walk you through from A to Z how I can get you extremely good at the game very fast. Okay, don't delay. Click the link in the description for that. So, Jordan Peterson, for those of you that don't know, had a pretty hardcore and still does addiction to benzos, to benzodiazepine, uh, like Xanax and, and uh, Ativan and these kinds of things. Okay, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read some expert excerpts from an article here. Jordan Peterson suffers years of absolute hell and needs emergency treatment for drug addiction that forced him to withdraw from public life, daughter says. Okay, controversial psychologist daughter says his efforts to come off the drug left him in unbearable discomfort. Okay, he actually even went to rehab. I'm not making fun of rehab. I mentioned that I had to go for a few months for outpatient group sessions for an alcohol addiction that I developed over you know, a long time doing all these nights out of the club and, and drinking a lot on dates and this and that. Okay, but this motherfucker, he's always like taking pot shots at the pick bars community and acting holier than thou and all this stuff. So let's look, look let's take a little look into, into his personal life here. Jordan Peterson has been forced to pursue emergency drug detox treatment in Russia after getting hooked on highly addictive psychoactive anti-anxiety drugs, his daughter has said. The Canadian psychologist who has attracted a substantial far-right following has withdrawn from the public eye due to his spiraling addiction to benzodiazepines. Withdrawal symptoms of benzodiazepines, which include Valium, Xanax, and others, include acute anxiety, panic attacks, vomiting, insomnia, muscle twitches, headaches, paranoia, mu memory loss, and in the most extreme instances, seizures, which can cause death. Okay, Peterson's daughter, uh, Michaela Peterson, said his physical dependence on benzodiazepine tranquilizers first became clear to his family last April when his wife of 30 years was diagnosed with terminal cancer. The controversial academic had been consuming the drug for years to alleviate persistent anxiety in the wake of a severe autoimmune reaction to food. Blah, blah, blah. He... <laughs> The daughter, his daughter released a, a video detailing the deterioration of her father's health, saying he had nearly died several times. Okay, she said his attempts to stop himself taking benzos left him in unbearable discomfort over the past eight months, and he has been in an induced coma. Okay, this guy is always fucking running his stupid mouth on the internet, okay, saying, Oh, uh, you know, if you're doing pickup artist things, you have problems and, uh, and uh, this and that. And he just sits like at this like arm, armchair psychology like, oh, I want to tell you guys today. And just sitting in his fucking dumb chair. Okay, everyone, it's so annoying. Everyone's like, oh, watch this Jordan Peterson video. It's Jordan Peterson. Who gives a fuck about Jordan Peterson, first of all? Second of all, he has a massive fucking drug problem. Okay, so the daughter said he was suffering these massive withdrawal symptoms and a movement disorder that she referred to as incredible, endless, irresistible restlessness bordering on panic. He's had to spend four weeks in the ICU in terrible shape. With the help of some extremely competent and courageous doctors, he survived. The uncertainty around his recovery is one of the most difficult and scary experiences we've ever had. Okay, now let's take a little look into like the history of this motherfucker, okay? Jordan Peterson was fairly unknown outside of his discipline until 2016 when he declared he would not use gender-neutral gender pronouns for transgender students at the University of Toronto. Okay, he, here's this guy's claim to fame, okay? He, I'm not gonna use gender neutral pronouns for transgender students. Oh, now he's a YouTube star, okay? The alt-right figurehead <laughs> has billed himself as a foe of so-called political correctness. Attracting widespread accusations of transphobia, he has criticized political correctness linked to transgender rights, cultural appropriationism, and environmentalism. He once urged women to stand up against their crazy harpy sisters and has been condemned for failing to reprimand his supporters when they bombard his critics with vitriolic abuse. Okay. Uh, Peterson's daughter said he only had just left intensive care unit and was currently suffering from neurological damage. What the fuck? Okay, this is what's so dumb about the internet. Okay, you've got fucking retards like Jake Paul, okay, who just who just goes on. He's like, yeah, like I'm gonna like call out Conor McGregor and like other famous guys to just get attention, challenge them to boxing matches and stuff. Now and they're like fucking Floyd Mayweather's fighting his brother. 
It's like totally retarded. And here you have this like little dork psychologist, okay, often in Canada, who's making a stand against transgender pronouns and then gets a whole bunch of news out attention you know, to, 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 because he's going against a norm. And then everyone's like, oh, Jordan Peterson thinks this. Jordan Peterson thinks that. Who gives a fuck what Jordan Peterson thinks? Okay, he's wrong about a lot of the stuff that he thinks, which, which I'll make other videos about. Um, <laughs> now, now, here it comes out, he has a massive drug addiction. Like, like a little baby, he's always going on about how you need to be strong and like this and that and have control of your life. He, he's totally at the mercy of these fucking benzos. And it, it, he suffered neurological damage. Okay, and he's a whole bunch of distance from full recovery. I just wanted to share that. He, he's always trying to be holier than thou. First of all, this guy doesn't even have any fucking clout. Okay, he just, he just got a whole bunch of media exposure and then people started watching him and, you know, thinking what he says must be so true because he's Jordan Peterson. Okay, so who gives a fuck? Okay, anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. <laughs> That's been fun. Please subscribe if you have not already. Press the notification bell to be alerted to those new videos every single day. Make sure that you sign up for a free coaching call, free 30 minute coaching call, so you can be enlightened and master the game once and for all. And I will show you exactly how I can get you very good very fast at this game. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I'm John Anthony. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.